Hello and welcome back to another POV video and in today's video we're shooting with the Sony a7R4 with the Sigma 24-70 or 85mm lens, I've got both of them with me but we're using the Cine balloon filters sent out to me kindly by Moment, a massive shout out to these guys if you want to check them out for yourself all the links are in the description below but as you can tell we've got some really nice light so we're going to make the most of this and we're also going to be shooting at sunset and hopefully at night as well to really show you what these filters can do. So let's get shooting. Bit of vibrant colours for once instead of the dull lighting and colours we normally get in winter. Yeah, well, I should have that field on that. Get this shot right here with these people sitting on that bench. That's a lovely composition right there. Here. That's a striking one. Love those shadows. Look at that, look at that one strip of light right there. Come on, you gotta love a wide lens sometimes. I'm able to get the punch bowl sign in. The whole area here. Might just stick here for a couple of minutes, see if we can get some real nice harsh shadows. Sometimes this is the best strategy you can do, is just sit or stand in a corner. I mean, this looks really bizarre, but people think you're taking a photograph of the landscape when realistically I can zoom in and out and get those photographs. I'm loving these harsh shadows though. Look at that, that's a lovely shot. I like this shot here. You can see the mints from the background. My God, it feels like we're not in COVID or lockdown. Look at this, so busy. And I create those reflections here with the window. Is that dog holding a mask? Sorry, this might be a bizarre question, but because I took a photo of your dog. I love that he's holding a mask. That is so unique. I'm in I'm I'm Come here. Oh, good boy. Is it a boy, yeah? Girl, girl sorry, good girl. I think I got it, Philip. Thank, you, Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Oh, that is such an interesting photograph. Look at that. That cute dog is holding a mask. I don't know why I just love that. Oh, can I get it? Jesus. And they got attacked by a pigeon. What I'm trying to do, because I've made a lot of POVs in York now, I'm trying to look, like, look up see what I can find, any interesting angles or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm exposing more for the sky because I know I can bring out the shadows a lot easier. Okay. Actually, I am going to slap my mask on because it is really busy. Am I allowed to take your photograph? I'm doing that? Is that alright? Please do. Yeah? Brilliant, thank you. I love that. Cheers. Do you want to go outside, Rachel? Maybe you want? Well, for... <laughs> then you, got, you get some good pictures anyway. Alright, um, what would you recommend? Ooh, what have we got plenty of? We've got plenty of the Guy Fawkes. Yeah. I'll go with Guy Fawkes again. You can get the blowtorch and cheese as well. Oh, blowtorch. Oh, that's going to be great. Yeah, appreciate it, buddy. I can get some free food. This gives me an opportunity to blow. If you look at the filter now, you can see how it's blooming with the lights. Hold it right there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I got that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Brilliant. Okay, well, <laughs> I've just been given a free sandwich for taking some photographs. 
Look at that. Let's have a good say. Mm. Oh my god. That tastes so good. Well, I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna eat this. And then uh, we'll get back to filming. All right, so it's about 10 minutes later. I've had the sandwich. That was absolutely gorgeous. That's some free lunch right there. I appreciate that. Oh, it tastes so good. I'm gonna take a photo here. Brilliant. Brilliant, thank you. Really appreciate that. I like that. I love the reflections on the glass and everything. Look at that. I do this. I kind of like that. That's nice. It's good. Wonderful. Do it again. Yeah. I'm standing in the water. Could you please look at me? Thank you. I do like our Bentley. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. In front of that building. Oh, I like that angle there. If you get in my photograph, I'm going to personally push your car into the... Never mind. Shame about all that door with all those shitty stickers, but... That is certainly locked. Okay, this is a bit suicidal, but... There is a way down here. Oh. Jesus, that was a jump. The good thing is about this filter as well, in particular, this one, you can stack another filter on top of it. So I could put a available ND filter, I think. I haven't tried that one. But I can also put like a polarizer on it and they work in tandem really well. There you go. Cheers, mate. This is a perspective I've never taken before of the train station. This is a nice shot here, but I'm gonna try and photoshop that crane out in post. Love that shot. That's a cool shot. I really do like that wide shot. I don't know why. I just like it. Oh, they follow me ass. I've got a funny story about that Renault, right? When I went to Formula One, this would have been about 2013, I think, when Red Bull was still being supplied by Renault, a lot of the Red Bull drivers and team were driving around in those little Renault Twiggy electric cars. I was just thinking, you poor sod, you drive one of the fastest pit of machinery in the world with a Formula One car, and then when you're off the track, you have to drive one of them. <laughs> what a disappointment. I like that photograph. Okay, we've got a Mustang here. It's orange Mustang right here. Look at that. Get that right there. It's a fucking banging car. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Shame I don't have the keys for it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get any more decent shots of that. A lot of the time when it's in a real bad location like this, what I focus on with car photography is the headlights or something like that or different angles or maybe even the wheels just to get something different. Oh, look at that. Like that, that's perfect. That's a great angle, I love that. The headlights, you can get a real nice shot like that. 
just so it makes it look like it wasn't taken on the side of a road it was actually taken maybe in a planned location there we go yeah that's best we're gonna do let's go for the 85 mil lens also this is for an 82 millimeter thread the 85 mil is a 72 mil thread but I'd recommend getting the 82 mil thread because I've got two step up rings so I can use the 85 mil on this filter and that filter thread with no problem. Okay, this is like real sketch. I'm going to have to bump up the ISO mentally high here. I have been here before, that's why I know about that gap there. <laughs> it's mental. I, I know so much about this city and the little crevices down to a fence and where the barbed wire is positioned. That <laughs> Have you seen the name of a street? Look. Photographic Lane. That is so cool. There's not very picturesque though. Gonna leave it. It's like we left. York and gone to like some place in America. There's no one in this say I can get a photo of the headlight because of all that ambient light next to it. That might be quite interesting. And it is. It makes for a good photograph of all the lights and light bulb. Look at that. That is such a simple frame right there. But I absolutely love it. I like that. I don't know why, but that's just a real nice frame right there. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting shots. Moving forward. What can I go in here? This, this is um, a car park, which will hopefully offer us a really cool long exposure image. Now, um, this is open till midnight, I believe. Monday to Sunday, 6 a.m. to start till midnight. And the best thing is, there's no CCTV. Um, and the way I could tell that is by the casing. See right there, that's supposed to be a CCTV camera, but inside of it, there's nothing. <laughs> this is how well I know these locations. So what I'm going for is this shot right here. There is a bit of flaring from that light there. So I'm going to move to this position here. Right, just to let you know as well, my full strength is on the camera holding it so it's not going anywhere. Right, focus. Go. That might be a solid maybe. Oh, that's a video idea. Exposure stacking. Oh, long exposure stacking. Yes. And that's a video coming soon. See? Those photographs are exactly the same, so I might be able to stack those in post. Honestly, we've got the option of stacking one of them, and I think that is the best we're going to do at this location right now. And that's all we needed. Let's go. Look at this right here. Look at that. Look at the, what these filters do into this light. Look at that voluminous. Oh, it looks so good. a cool shot. I get this guy. I think I've got it. Of course we've got to get the mandatory night shot of the shambles. If you don't get this, it's a curse. You'll be set under a spell. Seven year bad luck. So we're back where I started and that's where I'm going to be leaving today's POV video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I must say a massive thank you to Moment for sending across these filters. A full review of these will be coming pretty soon. And I must also say a massive thank you to you guys as well. Because by the time this video comes out, we probably have hit 10,000 subscribers. So I appreciate all the continued support. It means so much. But until next time, everyone, take care, stay safe, keep creating. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.